In other story, the country's flagship mobility event celebrates its 30th anniversary. And innovative ideas were front and center at the show, covering land, sea, and air. Our Yi Sujin brings us this year's highlights for a preview. At South Korea's biggest mobility show, the energy is electric, just like some of the cars on display. But it's not just electric cars being showcased at the 2025 Seoul Mobility Show, which is open to the public from Friday until the 13th. Marking its 30th anniversary, the event brings its theme, Mobility Everywhere, to life with a number of innovations that take to land, sea and air. Hyundai Motor unveiled the all-new Nexo, a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle with improved range, alongside a facelifted Ionis 6 EV for the very first time. Over in the autonomous vehicle zone, attendees can hop on a public transport shuttle developed by the Korea Institute of Civil Engineering and Building Technology. Classified as a level 4 autonomous vehicle, it can drive itself along predefined routes and designated areas, while AI technology enables it to detect obstacles like passing pedestrians and adjust its speed to traffic signals. This smart public transit service, which can be hailed on demand like Uber, will launch in Hwasong, Gyeonggi-do province next year. But the event isn't just about ground transportation. For the first time ever, visitors also have the chance to explore water-going vessels up close. We chose to take part in the mobility show for the first time to showcase that boats, like cars, can run on electrical propulsion systems. Local marine company Vince's Epoch 2 is an electric leisure boat that runs emission-free for up to three hours on a single charge. And its smart interface provides real-time performance monitoring for safer, easier operation. Rounding up the diverse wave of mobility is Humble Motors Group, a domestic auto parts maker that has expanded into urban air mobility. We believe the future of UAM lies in developing low noise, high energy efficient hybrid aircraft capable of navigating urban areas. The company's flagship UAM models include the H-32, a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft featuring hydrogen electric propulsion and seating for two, designed for urban air taxi services. And beside it stands the B-22, an unmanned aerial vehicle optimized for logistics with its flexible payload options. With cutting-edge aircraft like these, as well as next-generation vehicles and vessels, Korea, the world's fifth-largest automaker, is showing that it's well-placed to face future challenges. Yoo Soo Jin, Arirang News.